Hi, this is Ron Mitchum playing the Hunter Call of the Wild on PC, and today we're carrying on in our Africa journey. This is part two. Check out the first part if you haven't seen it. We've got to go to where some poachers have put down some traps. We're in the central savannah. This is where we're marked. Where we had the warthog yesterday on the long shot. And here's the rocks from where I shot it from. Nearly 400 meters. It was very close. Hopefully, we'll get something exciting today in this one. It's about 500 meters that way. I think that's where the lake was, uh, where we visited. So we'll head over and hopefully we don't spook any animals on the way. I'm just looking around because there was a lot of warthogs around here, big groups of like 20, 30. And I'm just wondering if they're going to come this way or if we're going to spot them. Hopefully we spot a bigger one or a trophy one. Let's take a look around. So tempted to run across here, but I know there is animals all around this location and that would be a bad idea. Especially if it's a big herd group. As soon as you run, they're going to run off and you, you won't see them again. They'll be off into the bushes. There is lots of other species as well. Seven different species on this reserve. So hopefully we'll come across some of those. Maybe the springbok, uh, the lesser kudu. I won't mind seeing those, they're kind of striped with like uh, curly horns. Sort of like an ibex, but more curly horns. Uh, so they could be interesting to get. But the springbok look good because I like our in groups. We've seen a bit from streams, they've shown some of the animals close up and they bounce really high, a bit like a sort of antelope uh, animal. So can't wait to see one of those and get our first one. We've got 300 odd meters to the traps. You are a warden in this and that is your main sort of part of the story. So we're doing the missions as they come. The main missions. If it's side missions I might do them. It depends on how the main missions go. If they go the same way I will do them as well as the main mission but I'll mainly stick to the main mission and then at a later date we'll go through the smaller missions like I say unless they're in the same sort of direction location as the main story clouds look great the sun's out closing in on our objective we've got a call over there oh it's behind us what's that springbok we haven't had one of those and we're just talking about him can we see him <laughs> no it's hidden in the bushes Whenever you play any new content for the Hunter games or you haven't had a new animal, when you're on there you're like, whoa, whoa what's that? You're checking every little bit, <laughs> every bit of the bush, every little rock. Is that one? Is that one? It's just a weird shaped bush or animal shaped bush would be uh, say. I bet you've done it as well, seen a bush or a log, shot at it thinking it's an animal and uh, <laughs> like sort of uh, bowed your head and thought oh my it was a bush there was a place on Whiteheart when it first came out on Classic and I don't know how many times I used to go a certain route before you had tents you used to walk by it and every time I got to this uh, field got the hunter's scent. I used to look at this log Follow those it was shaped like a white tail even though I'd seen it loads of times I always used to check it so we've got plenty of warthogs about. We've got another stand we've got to build. We're near where we shot the hog yesterday at this pond. And as you can see, there's lots of tracks here. Hopefully they don't come running at us. I don't know if they can hurt you. If they hit you. We might find out. <laughs> Gonna come through some short grass here. We know there's four or five on my right. And I'm guessing by the amount of tracks there's a lot more to come. Or a lot more around this area. We're near the location, closing in on 100 meters. The other animals that's on the reserve, we've got scrub hares. I don't know where we'll find those. We've got side striped jackals. Blue wildebeest, Cape buffalo. Look at that. <laughs> Look how many how many warthogs are there then? I think there's more than yesterday. That is a lot. 
I don't know who's, who's going to count them, but I'm sure someone will and drop it in the comments. But it's got to be close to 30 there. That's a quick guess, but look at that. There is a lot. We've got some coming towards us and some going away. No wonder he wants us to uh, kill them all. In real life, hunting a lot of animals in one area is actually quite bad. And uh, wardens or people who keep the land, um, game reserve people, they will cull off a certain amount of animals if it gets overpopulated. Overpopulated because it is bad because you get you can get disease, things like that. So they often wipe it out, uh, wipe some out, have a call. So that is a normal um, thing in real life. So we've got to find three traps. The next part of our mission. I don't know what they look like, but I'm assuming they're around this location. So let's try and find some traps. We might get to shoot some warthogs. What's that there? I can see it looks like a piece of metal or something. Maybe this is one. Let's have a look. Yeah, look. Like a lasso onto like a trap here. I wonder if we can uh, get damage here. Shouldn't really do that. <laughs> that would have been a bad move from Ron there. If there it, uh, you go. Saving me. the savannah. Like. One good deed at a time. Got one of them. We know what they look like now. Two more. There's another one. So not too hard to find. We've obviously put them where all the warthogs and stuff are. Near the water. Which is, if you think about it, if you was a trapper, where would the animals be? They're going to come to the water at some point, aren't they? So, a good location for putting them. Alright. Where's the other trap? What are you going to be hunting when you first jump on here? What are you after? What is your number one animal you want to hunt? Get... Keeping on these uh, warthogs. They may form an army. Come and get me. Right, where's this other one? The first two are quite easy to find. And here is our third one. So that should be it. Let's collect this. With so many good deeds, the animals are going to like you. I can tell. That's just a taste of the warden's work here in the Vusha. There are other regions to explore. But if you want to stay here, make yourself useful. Check your mission log for assignments. If you'd rather continue exploring Boronga, Head to my wishing tree, marked on your map. There's something important you must do before we go much further. The problems facing this reserve go beyond poachers and aging wardens. There are bad spirits, iloko, bringing mischief and misfortune. They only come because our ancestors are so angry with the state of this place. We need to make an effort to appease them. Right, let's go over to the Tree of Life. Go have a look what he's got in store for us. Something about some sort of like black magic witch doctor kind of vibe. So uh, let's see what we've got in store over here. That's unmistakably less Akudu. But there's nothing lesser about these antelope. They are sweet, peaceful souls, laid back and a bit shy, so you'll have to work for them. We've not had one of those. I wouldn't mind bagging one of these. Hopefully we see one soon. You probably think I'm foolish with my traditional ways. Your brother thinks so. That's why you had to come back and help me. All your brother does is set up communication systems, set up all the cameras and the drones. Okay, he does a lot, but he doesn't hunt. 
and he doesn't believe in Iloko. I hope you are a little more open-minded. I think this guy sounds a little loco. <laughs> Definitely got his uh, a bug under his bonnet for about some. Tree of life right in front of us. I don't know what this is about. But we'll soon see. Just for these bushes. Must be something special. Part of the storyline. Our old friend, the Bronking Springbok. Harvesting Springbok is a reliable way to feed local markets and prevent overgrazing, if you can catch them. Springbok. I do want to see these. I've got the tree on the right, looks really magnificent. Where's the Springbok? Oh, what's that? A lesser kudu. We've got a little group there. So like we've got a male on our right, maybe with horns. Not sure. Uh, we've got a few females with it. How far is that? Quite far away. Getting on for close to 400 meters, maybe 350. So let's move up to the main objective, which is this giant tree. If anyone knows about giant trees, it's me from Nottingham. We've got the Robin Hood Major Oak. It's sort of like that, but a bit thicker base. And we're in Africa, so not really the same at all. <laughs> right, let's collect this. Here's my wishing tree. Of course, this is the first place I came to celebrate when I heard you were coming back to Africa. I played the drum and sang to praise the ancestors. Then I put something special inside the tree. It's there, waiting for you. Take it. Carved it myself. Do you recognize Nyami Nyami? The Zambezi call him the river god. He brings his waters rushing, whoosh, searching for his lost wife. Maybe she was a lake goddess, I, I don't know. If we win his favor, maybe he'll help us conquer the drought that's been sucking us dry. Here's what I need from you. Hunt a springbok. Any will do, so long as you harvest it with the highest integrity while you have Nyami Nyami on you. Show gratitude to Nyami Nyami and the ancestors on behalf of your family and on behalf of the local family that this animal will feed. We never sacrifice animals for ritual alone. The local tribes donated their land to Vuronga Savanna because they rely on this ecosystem for their diet. We have a duty to them. So we've got to get 100% integrity springbok. And I did see some, and there's some, some bouncing now. So hopefully we get one of these. I'm going to use the 243 because it looks like a small deer. So I'm hoping this is good enough. One right in front of us here. Here we go. That looked like a clean shot and it's dropped on the spot, so I'm guessing that should be good enough. I didn't think there'd be that many. <laughs> We're gonna bounce away. Let's run over and collect it and hopefully we've done that part of the mission. Yummy yummy. Nice to get our first spring box. So we've had spring box, we've had warthogs. We've seen a lesser kudu, but we haven't had one yet, but hopefully we'll get one of those soon gradually move around doing the missions and getting the species as we progress. I will be showing the brand new gun as well soon, the Nitro Express double rifle. It is uh, a beast, so we will purchase that and take a closer look at that soon. But for now, here we go, here's our spring book. Have we done it? There's a lot of blood here, so, and we dropped it on the spot. I'm hoping that's good enough. Yeah, there we go. Your work here is still getting started, but you're already Bronze making female. a difference. 
This animal will feed locals who might otherwise rely on poachers for their meat. Now it's time for you to bring Yami Yami home to the river. Take him to the site marked in your codex and bury him. I'm guessing him. for this part of the mission we're going to bury what we found at the Tree of Life, that little uh, trinket. The best way to fight the poachers is to beat them to the marketplace and hunt responsibly to feed the hungry people. There are several volunteer hunters who help us do that work. They may not all be at your level, but they do good work. They're organized by Maria Bueni. She is a lioness. Maria's husband was a ranger who worked with me. He... He was killed by poachers. When you meet her, don't bring that up to her. It's too painful to discuss. Just know that's why Maria is so dedicated to her work, and why you can't let her down when she needs your help. She'll have work available whenever you find time. So the next part of the mission I'm going to do in the next video because You've got to run all the way over to where I showed you on the map at the side of the river. It's quite a long way away, so I'm going to collect this next outpost. So we've got somewhere to start from. Hopefully bag a lesser kudu on the way. 500 meters and closing. Nearly there. Our next outpost. We've done pretty well, really. We've had Springbok. Warthog. And what's that? Ooh, lesser kudu. Hopefully we can bag one of these, that'd be very nice. I am gonna be doing some close-up footage of animals as well around the reserves, uh, so you can see them in detail. I use uh, Hattiwati's uh, cinema uh, tool. I've got a link to that in previous Call of Wild videos. It is really good, and some of the shots you can get is spectacular. I do them in 4K as well, so top notch detail check out those I'll put them on social media as well it's one of my big passions in this game the hunting is a big thing obviously in the game but I like I spend the hours trying to get the perfect shots of animals the locations and stuff it's a real big deal to me so if you've seen any of my shots before on social media you know what I'm talking about but if you haven't check them out if you like to see animals in detail up close we're creeping up on a lesser kudu. Could run bag one. I think we'll probably use a 243 on this one. I am tempted to use the ATVs on some of this because it is such a big landscape. And some of you might do that for a start. Some people do as I'm doing and progress slowly and unlock it and do the missions and stories. But some people like to get on an ATV or something at the start and blast around and reserve and just unlock everything, then hunt and do missions. There's no wrong way of doing it, it's just how you choose to do it. The ATVs are very useful. I do like uh, riding about and having fun. I'm a bit of a petrol head as well, so I like ramping off things. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always work out well as well. Uh, ramping off mountains, big rocks exploding, coming off them. That's part of the fun, especially in multiplayer. If you want to have fun, uh, get get with a group of people in multiplayer on this with quad bikes, and uh, it can be hilarious. Right, there's a kudu. Looks like he's trotting away, fleeing. It says, not sprinting, but he is cantering into the bushes. If he stops there, we can have a crack at him. It's about 300 meters or something. So here it goes. Come on, Ron, don't mess this up. Check the distance before we shoot him. I think that's a good shot. We'll run over and have a look. Hopefully that's the uh, lesser kudu off the list. It'll be three of the seven. Can't wait to come across the uh, 
the wildebeest and the cape buffalo try out the nitro new gun supposed to be the most powerful gun in the game as well so uh, I'm expecting big things from that but I don't think you're better to use it on many species with how powerful it is integrity wise but everyone loves a big gun <laughs> Right, where's the blood? Sometimes when you shoot an animal at distance, you probably experience this. You lose where the actual tracks are on the blood, or where you think you've shot it. Got an animal crawling in front of us, I don't think that's it. Maybe it's another one. Ah, here we go. So we definitely hit it. It says it's a non-vital wound. Which I normally do like to just take one clean shot on animals. Unless it's a really big trophy animal and it is, I think, going to escape. It's very rare I'll take more than one shot. It's over here somewhere. I think the 243 should be good. Back here, some more blood. It's dropping slowly. Ah, yep, just caught a glimpse of it. But it's definitely down. So our first lesser kudu. Take a look at it. As I was saying, it's sort of like an ibex, stripes all over its back and curly horns. It is a male, silver, 100% integrity bonus, so all good, flesh, stomach, intestines. So three species down, what will be the next one? Really enjoyed this hunt, done some of the missions, got a new outpost, got another two species that we hadn't got before. 200 meters to our next outpost. Next, we've got to take the Nami Nami <laughs> over to the burial location near the river. Hopefully, spot some of the other species, maybe a jackal, a blue wildebeest, Cape Buffalo. Might get to try out the Nitro, the new gun. Looking forward to that. If you want to see anything in particular, anything maybe it's not species it could be something around the reserve drop it in the comments and i'll take a look at what's popular and i'll try and knock something up in a video if it's popular enough or answer your questions if you want to know something about call of the wild or classic so that's been me ron mcchew we've been playing hunter call of the wild exploring africa we're having great fun getting species i'm really really enjoying this Moving on to part three in the next video. If you haven't seen the first part, check that out as well. I'll be doing lots of parts and coverage of the game. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.